This video will illustrate how to graph horizontal and vertical lines. The equation for a horizontal or vertical line has only one variable, x or y, instead of having both. The variable that we do have can appear more than once. In this case, we do not do the zero, zero trick. Instead, right away, we isolate the variable we have. In this equation, we have 0 equals 2 thirds y plus 2. Let's isolate the y. If I move the 2 to the other side of the equals, it becomes negative 2. And we have negative 2 equals 2 thirds y. If we divide both sides by 2 thirds, these cancel our y is now isolated on the right side of the equals and negative 2 divided by 2 thirds is equal to negative 3. Now that I have this statement y equals number y equals negative 3 I can fill in my table all at once. I put negative 3 all the way down the y side of the table. On the x side I can put any numbers I want but I have to make sure that 0 is one of them because I have to show all intercepts. I'm going to put x equals 6 and x equals negative 4 for the other two x coordinates. Now it's time to graph it. 0, negative 3 is right here. 6, negative 3 is here. And negative 4, negative 3 is here. We have a horizontal line with a slope of 0 I'm going to draw the line with the ruler all the way across the graph and I'm going to label the three points that were in my table. This is how we graph a horizontal line. We isolate the y, we find the number y is equal to and we fill the y side of the table with that number we choose any numbers we want for the x side of the table, but we make sure x is equal to 0 is one of them. And then we graph the line labeling the three points that were in the table. Graphing a vertical line works the same way as graphing a horizontal line, except this time my equation has only an x and no y's. I'm going to start the same way by isolating the x. I'm going to move the negative 4 thirds x to the other side and I get 10 thirds equals 4 thirds x. Now if I divide both sides by 4 thirds these will cancel. My x is isolated and 10 thirds divided by 4 thirds is 2 and a half. If x is equal to 2 and a half then in the table I show that x is always equal to 2 and a half no matter what y is equal to. For y I put any numbers I want but I make sure 0 which represents an intercept is one of them. I'm going to choose y equals negative 3 and y equals 5. Now I graph these points. 2 and a half 0 is here 2 and a half negative 3 is here and 2 and a half 5 is here. All that's left is to draw a straight line through those points going all the way through the graph and to label the three points that were in my table. This is how we graph vertical line. 